Hi guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show. Today I'm going to be installing this hand show second screen in our Tesla Model 3. This is going to be uh, in front of the dash, in front of the steering wheel to give you greater view while you're driving without taking your eyes off the screen. And it's going to give me Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So if you're interested, stick around. We're going to see how hard this is to install and see if you can do it yourself. In the box, you've got the instrumentation guide and the instruction manual. You've got the actual screen itself. It's pretty compact and it fits uh, kind of molded to your dash on your Model 3 or Model Y. Two connection wires coming off here. And then you've got two wiring harnesses. Now it depends on if you have the Intel processor in your Tesla or the AMD Ryzen. The AMD Ryzen will take this one, like in my model, the 2022 Model 3 Long Range. So this one we won't need. And this one is why I'm making this video, install video, is because I haven't seen any on the internet with the installation with the AMD Ryzen uh, wiring harness. And what makes this different is you have an extra power and ground cable that you need to route underneath the front through the firewall to attach to your 12 volt battery out there. And this is it. It comes with a pry bar for interior trim removal and anchor for your screen. That's it. So before we get started, uh, I like to go ahead and open everything up because we're going to disconnect the main power and the 12 volt battery power. So I'm going to go ahead and open all the windows and doors and the front uh, front on this so that we can get started here. All right, first of all, we got to see if we have the Intel processor or the AMD Ryzen processor in our Tesla. Like I said, this is a 2022 model, three long range. Press the car icon down here. Go into software right here. Go to additional vehicle information right here. And if we scroll through here, we see infotainment processor AMD Ryzen. So we have to use that second harness I showed you where we connect the positive and ground wire through the firewall and out to the front to the 12 volt lithium battery out there. So that makes it a little bit more complicated, but we're gonna see if we can get it done. So let's go ahead and disconnect the batteries, starting with the rear main battery, high voltage battery. I'm gonna disconnect the power to the screen here first, go into safety and power off right here. Go ahead and power off the vehicle and screen. And we've got power off. Now we're gonna go to the passenger rear seat here and lift this up. It's got a clip on the front that you gotta slide and then you can pull the corner of the cushion up to get to the high voltage battery. And we'll go ahead and disconnect that now. Piece of styrofoam protecting it. And here's the battery. Disconnected. Now we gotta go out to the front here, remove this plastic panel to get to the 12 volt battery. Here's our 12 volt battery here. Pull that up. And slide that out. There we 
go. No more power. We've got the power disconnected completely to the vehicle. All right, we're going to have to remove this other frunk trim here in order to get back to fish our line through the firewall back in that area there. So there's some 10 millimeter bolts right here. We'll go ahead and remove these 10 millimeter bolts. And we're going to go ahead and remove this latch part here. And it's got a piece of, it's got a wire connector connected to the front latch emergency release. So we're going to disconnect that. And that's disconnected. disconnect our washer fluid bottle there. Oh, we got two more bolts down here. I missed them right right up. All right, now we have complete access to our 12 volt battery and we've got somewhat access back through here where we're going to try to fish our wire up through there somehow. We'll see how that goes. We'll get some light back in there. So this is what it looks like underneath all the trim covers underneath the front. Now we've got to remove the side of this dashboard trim right here. We'll take our tool and we'll get underneath there. Pry it off. And we ultimately have to get this piece off right here, all the way across the dash. I'm gonna go remove the other side trim first. this trim piece here. And this trim piece here. And push pin. That I drop back in there. Look at that. We need to remove this. that whole trim comes off. See there. Put our trims over on the table. Now we'll lift up our dash trim right here. It should lift up all the way across. Just like that. And just angle it out. There we have it. Removed set it aside out here on our table. All right, guys, I've got all this exposed and it looks like I might not have had to take down the trim panel underneath the uh, glove box here because I think this is our connector right here that we want to connect to and we won't use the pass-through connector uh, like is needed on some models. I'll just plug this one, the male, into here. That clips right in there. We can just keep that tucked up underneath here. And then, remember, we got to run our positive and negative wire out to the 12 volt battery and I think instead of trying to go through the uh, instead of going through the, uh, the firewall here I'm gonna run it up around here and into this crevice here and fit it underneath the fender and into the rear front compartment routing it up underneath this rubber trim and there through to the fender I think that'll be an easier method so let's try that Looks like we have enough 
cabling to do it. I'm going to fit that underneath the door molding or weather strip, I should say. Good. Now I just gotta put it up through the fender. Okay, I just routed this up underneath the weather stripping right here and in through the back of the fender. And I was able to snake it through here and it's coming out this side. And I'm just pulling it through. And now Right here I have it right here underneath the hood in the front area right where we need to connect to our battery over there all right I'm just gonna zip tie this up right here to keep it out of the way Put another zip tie right there. Just to hold it in place. Now we've got our positive. We do have a little sleeve here that comes off. But I don't know if that's a positive connection or not. It does have this plastic cover on it, so I'm assuming that is a uh, positive connection there. So I could use that for positive and then the negative. Uh, let's see. Negative, I think I'm just... There's a negative bolt right here. I can reach down there to that. Alright, just so we can set ourselves straight. Here's the... Uh, battery cables right here positive and negative this has got a coverage sleeve on it that says positive on here so I'm gonna connect my positive wire here with a nut and bolt to this here and then the negative if we follow our negative wire this yellow stripe wire goes to that bolt back down there right here where my fingers touching on you can see that let's see right here where my fingers touching on right there that's going to be our negative or our negative wire lead connects down there so let me get that done all right I got my positive and ground my ground is back here where my finger is right there on that bolt connecting to the ground wire on the frame there and the positive is underneath this positive shield here I attached it with a, a screw and washer there right up against the metal there. I cut a slice out the back here so that the screw can fit through the back there. And that goes back on there like that. So we'll get the inside done, get the screen mounted, and then we'll come back out here and, and connect our power again. We've got to route our wire for the screen right here, route it up back through here and across. I'm gonna put it back through here like this. And have it come up through here. And I wanna make sure I have enough to reach all the way over. So where we plug it in, where we plug it in behind the steering wheel. want this cable rattling through here so I've got some tape that I'm going to use to hold this down. 
You've got this automotive style tape. It's kind of like a uh, cloth material. So it'll be anti-rattle. Underneath our dashboard panel. And it rips pretty easy. All right, I've got the wire up coming around the corner here and taped with this uh, material style nylon tape all the way across so we have no rattling under the dash. It's all fixed in place, nice and neat. And make sure not to block our clip holes right here. Okay, now we've got to center up our screen with where the steering wheel notch out is right here and center it up and run the wires through there through the vent. So I'm just going to kind of hold it up here first. Just make sure it's centered with that notch above the steering wheel right there. And I think I'd like it right about there. New one in there. Red one in there. You can see that. Just pushing the uh, blue connector in through the hole that I found that was close to center and the red connector in and then bring them out the back here just like that and then you want to seat this into place just firmly press it in to the, the vent holes there We can turn around and put our mounting plate on the back. We'll do that. There we have it guys, mounted. Let's go put it in place. I'm just gonna kinda set it up here and plug it in first. All right, we got it all put back into place, snapped back on. Now I just gotta reverse and put all the trim back in place, and then we'll turn our power back on. Stay tuned.
All right, I got it all installed and we're about ready to go take a look at it. Got the car all back together, all the trim back in, no issues with that at all. This whole car kind of like snaps together. It's, it's just remarkable how it holds itself together, just being snapped in and having some push pins here and there. So when we get in the car, we're gonna look at how this screen connects and see if there's anything required to do every time you get in. Look at that screen. There it is already turned on. You've got the image of your little mini Tesla there. You got your miles per hour over here for speedometer, a classic speedometer dial. You got miles per hour digital right here in the middle. Of course, you got your uh, turn signals indicators right there. You got your seatbelt indicator. You got your high beams, regular light indicator, and you got your hold. You got your park reverse neutral and drive you got the time down here and let's turn that off you've got the outdoor temperature and all this kind of relays from the information from your uh, factory uh, screen right here it just brings it over here right in front of you so when you're driving down the road you just kind of glance down in between your steering wheel here and you've got all the information at hand uh, instead of going over this way and searching for it now you've got an alternative right here. So if we swipe over here, go into Android Auto. Right now you can pick CarPlay or Android Auto, and then we'll connect to Android Auto. Once you get into here, it will connect automatically uh, after you've connected it the first time. And you wanna connect to BT Link, Bluetooth Link, and connect this wirelessly to your CarPlay or Android Auto phone. All right, so once we get it up here, we've got uh, two thirds of the screen is our Android Auto, and the other third is for our driving controls. There's turn signals, lights, park neutral drive down here, battery percentage, and then we've got all our stuff over here. We've got, uh, say, news here. You press news on the app, it will pull it up through Google Assistant. You've got your volume right here comes right through your Tesla volume. This is a Fox News alert. Musk says it's over. I'm Laura Cantor. Tesla CEO Elon Musk wow. says he's ending his $44 billion buyout deal of Twitter. It's not known whether there will be a court Interesting. the deal or if Twitter will agree to the one No Twitter purchase. Okay. So what else do we have here? Go back to your menu here, your Android menu. I've got the uh, my Amazon Music. This is where I've downloaded all my uh, music and you can listen to playlists and stuff like that so let's just uh, hit a playlist all hits and it should play here right through your uh, Tesla there's screen player. let's just go here recently played uh, let's do this one there we go we've got our music coming out And go back. You got your iHeartRadio as well. As Pandora, you've got Pandora as well. Go back. Pandora. Of course, you can have your Sirius radio on here as well. I don't have Sirius radio. And then, of course, your maps, your Google Maps, and then your uh, Waze maps right here you can access. So all this has uh, opened up all new doors for you and me in my case and uh, I really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and take a short drive down the road and we can monitor the screen. If you swipe over here you can go to full screen like that for your gauges. So let's try it out. So here we go we've got our hand show screen here nice give me the miles per hour here showing me I'm in drive I can turn on my turn signals here see the uh, turn indicator on this screen here right in front of me also have the information over here if I wanted to look off to the center but I like it right here right in my eyes 
path here right below the dashboard in front of my steering wheel here very handy to have And of course, if I wanted to, I can swipe over here, go into my Android Auto, open up the Android Auto apps right here. I've got all the access to those apps. I can do my Google Maps on this screen if I want. And I also have, you know, my maps over here on the factory screen. So it's really handy. I can go into my music, my Amazon Music selection and play that. I can control the steering or the volume on the steering wheel right here. Very neat. Now you do get some glare once in a while, but it doesn't bother me. I also get glare over on this screen as well. So uh, it's working great. And I'd like to see uh, my miles per hour right in front of me. See what gear I'm in. And of course, we can swap that over to our full gauges. Very handy to have. So we did it, guys. We did it. It was a little bit difficult, but not that difficult. We got it done. You were able to follow along with me. Now, just uh, save this video in case uh, you want to get one and you get one in the future just play back this video step by step this should help you along the way especially if you get the 2022 model uh, model 3 or model y this will fit in and i'm loving it and guys also hand show has given me a coupon code that works on their store at their store i'm going to leave that in the description below the coupon code is tw home show all one word and that will give you up to 20 percent off on not only this but anything in the hand show store so i was happy to bring that to you i negotiated that with hand show and they were just happy to get these detailed instructions in english for folks like you with the brand new teslas so guys thanks again and i'll see you on the next one